some quench so good <laughs> options never know which way you want to go it took a toll and then think I got the chance and I ain't gonna waste it Honey tripping romance And the hours have faded This world keeps coming round and round So there ain't no use feeling down Feeling down We're much better together, I know Happy Sunday. I went to the grocery store and I'm headed home now. And today is cleaning day. Woo! No, I'm never too excited to clean the house because there's just so much to clean, especially with Luna's hair everywhere. But it really sets my mind right and I look forward to how I feel after I'm done cleaning and it's always a great result and you guys have seen me when I deep clean I am deep cleaning I like take my mini vacuum in the small crevices that the Dyson doesn't go in I wipe down everything so yeah that is what today is going to consist of
feet. We've been deep cleaning the entire house for about, I don't know, three hours. It feels so nice to have everything squeaky clean. It's the best feeling. a little burnt. Just a little bit. Isn't as like um, tall as normal conventional. I don't know what to do with Luna. Let her go out and pee. Got my eye on you, Luna. She tried to escape today. I kept calling her name and nothing. I was like, let's get a tree. Go outside. Nothing. She didn't even want to come. Hmm. So I was like, and it took her 30 minutes and I had to leave because I was doing runs. And then I get the leash and that's when she starts like coming out. So I knew she wasn't sick or anything. Hmm. Ooh. How did you hear your phone? I don't know, I just heard it. Wow. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Keen. Cauliflower pizza? You're going for a walk. Who's ready? Are you excited? Oh, oh, okay. All right. You ready? You can go on a walk? Go outside? Let's go outside. 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 Uh, okay, uh, uh, excuse me. Three, four. Okay. I wanna give it to you, boy. But there's a voice in my head that keeps telling me not to let you see secrets hidden inside me. I wanna say it to you, girl. But the words in my head, they don't string together easily. That's just what you do to me Oh my god you guys, I almost had an anxiety attack on this walk So, you see these little prickly things? When I tell you there were like a hundred of them on each of his paws and like on his body. When he was going poop, there was like an area with a bunch of stuff on the ground, but I didn't think anything of it. And it's like, I've seen these before, but I've never seen that many on him. And it, I, he couldn't even walk. I was freaking out. Okay, I just need to take the rest of them off. Are you okay, baby? Ugh, mommy almost had a heart attack. Oh, they're like in his skin. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, don't worry. I'm gonna get all of them out. I know, sorry, 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 sorry. Fuck. Sorry, baby. Day. I 
are just everywhere. Sorry. I know. Stop, stop, stop. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. This is how many I pulled out. But this is before I took like a hundred out outside when it first happened. I was seriously freaking out. I almost had an anxiety attack. I called Robin. I was asking her to come get me, but she was on her way home. I would have waited too long for her. So I just stopped and I handpicked like a hundred of those pokey thingies out of his paws. And then I carried him all the way home and it was a long walk. My arms are killing me. And then now I just picked out the rest. I'm just like, this was so unexpected. Like, look how many there are. Oh, my baby. Are you okay? Some of them definitely got into the skin. And so when I pulled it out, it was, it was hurting him, my baby. He always knows when something's serious. I'm sorry. Good morning. Robin and I are going for a run today. Look at him. Just look at this cuteness. Just look at this cuteness. Mr. Cutes. Mr. Cutes. We just got back. We actually took Luna. Robin suggested it and I've never ran with her. I was a little bit nervous because sometimes she can jerk me. Especially if she sees an animal like a squirrel. She will whip my body so hard that my back will kind of give, but she did really well. We did, oh, I need to stop my watch. 3.4 miles and 250 feet elevation gain. Hi. Is my girl tired? Is my princess Tai Tai?
<laughs> Luna's like straight chilling outside. I feel bad for asking her to come in. So a lot of you have been wanting me to do a little shuffle tutorial. So I'm gonna teach you the basic running man because that is the core of shuffling. It's actually very easy, but it takes a little bit of practice. So you're not gonna get it overnight. I probably practice for a month until I really got it down. And then you start to add the little tricks and spins things like that. Your front foot is essentially gonna go all the way back, but it's doing boom, boom. One, two. Boom, boom. <laughs> the motion of the right foot is slide, slide. And the motion of the left foot, starting back, up, down. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So slide, slide. Now you slide the left side. Slide, slide. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. You can be flat footed, but you can also be on your tippy toes, whichever is more comfortable for you. So this is like a flat foot. And then here's me on my tippy toes. And that is the basic running net. Okay. It's easy to do the basic running man and lose your breath, but the more you practice it um, and learn how to breathe throughout it, uh, you're able to do it longer, which then makes it fun for tricks and spins. If I were you, I would just be home, turn some TV on, and just go slow. As slow as you need, you know? You may feel off balance at first, but when you start to pick it up, You'll feel the group. And you can kind of get like your little lean on or just be straight, whichever you prefer. And you can kind of like make your way around. That's the homework. Just make your way around. And there you have it folks, the basic running man. So now I'm going to work out. <laughs>
Well, what are you making today? Kimchi stew. Kimchi stew with the jongga napa cabbage kimchi. So you start off with anchovy broth. Robin's cutting up some garlic, onions. What else? Zucchini, mushroom. So I think this is the biggest challenge for most people making soup is to not over make it. You know what I'm saying? But what do you mean by like adding too many ingredients? Or just like making a huge thing of it? I know, I said that in the video too. What do you think it is? Soup tastes better when it sits over time. Why do you think that is? Oh, because the flavors get to merge, merge and marry. So when you have a smaller pot, there's a likelihood that can happen in a shorter time frame than a bigger pot. Bam! Physics! <laughs> Facts! Oh, and this uh, pot is by Caraway. Here, let me show you the brand, and I'll link them down below. Caraway. But these pots are non toxic and non stick. They work so well. When you say non toxic, what do you mean? Typical pots and pans have a layer or a coating of this chemical. I gotta find the name, it's on their website. Um, and so when you cook with it, essentially that chemical is. Kind of coming off you know caraway doesn't use any of that which is amazing and honestly there's nothing that i've cooked in these pots that stick like the non-stick works so well you could probably cook an egg without oil and it still would not stick it's really impressive but i'll leave the link for them in the description box this is the tuna we're using do you think it's time yeah to take it out yeah these are baby ones. I don't think the flavor is going to be as high. Alrighty, PayPal! Alrighty. First, I'm going to put in the content because the goal here is to make everything super soft. <coughs> Love it! <laughs> hot potato! Remember that game? Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Yes. Crank the heat. Crank that shit. Like hell. <laughs> like hell. All right, just mix everything in there. Merge and condense into a situation. It's kind of like we're making sundubu kimchi. Yeah. Or kimchi sundubu. Which one came first? Kimchi sundubu. Wow. This is the only canned tuna I will eat. Hit me with that are... tuna. You make kimchi jjigae, right? Mm -hmm. So why didn't you make this one? Because I don't want to. I've been cooking for the past two days. No. Okay, so I'm gonna do the kimchi. Jongga kimchi. Wow. I'm excited for this kimchi. So when I tasted it, I was like, this tastes like kimchi jjigae kimchi. Yeah. So if anyone's wondering, for like a sizable pot like this, just use three. Three. Mm -hmm. And then, Gochujang. Have you ever wondered why is my kimchi jjigae not red enough? Well, you need gochujang, which is um, red pepper paste. So, just throw that tuna right in. <sighs> Key to any soup is taste as you go. Okay, the spice is there, it can use some salt. <laughs> For beginners, do not eyeball fish sauce. Always try this spoonful because fish sauce can go a long way. It's very potent. Just a little on the sodium. Yeah, how you usually can tell if soup is good or not is if you look at the harder vegetable, like zucchini for instance, it's still very white. Now you want it to get a little translucent before you turn the heat off. Ow! That freaking stuff. There's definitely a color difference, right? Yeah. Save some room for pie? Yeah. Oh, we didn't even eat the ice cream from yesterday. <gasps> Damn, cool. Say something about it. Articulate your thoughts. It's not possible. Holy smokes! 
I really enjoy the simplicity of this meal. It really gives the soup a time to shine. I am so sore. Fuck. Oh. Wow. Like my entire legs, my back. Oh. This is what happens when you don't do HIIT training for a couple of days. It's like you've never done it to begin with. Just everything. It's Killing me, killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly with his song. Telling my whole life with his words. Killing me softly with his song. Beautiful lilies. They're just, they're all blooming. They're so pretty. First sip is always the best. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sore. Ugh. It hurts to do anything right now. My video just went live. I uploaded a what I eat in a day. I'm just gonna go in and check on the comments.
What you doing? Aren't you hot? <laughs> God, this girl is crazy. I swear she likes to burn out her energy before she goes to the park. Look at Robin's pile of work. Why are you being guilty? Were you doing something you weren't supposed to do? Were you? Yes or no? I don't know what Leo is trying to do. Leo smells something. You doing something fishy up there, aren't you? Why is Leo sniffing you like that? Did you have a dead animal in your mouth? Is that why you're having diarrhea and stuff? <laughs> why is Leo? I am going out for a drive. Uh, we decided to drive around LA just to kind of check out just the state that Los Angeles is in. It's been a heavy, heavy week. I do want to talk more about on the Black Lives Matter movement because it's really important. And to be honest, I've spent the past couple of days uh, educating myself and processing everything because I am guilty of being a silent supporter. And I realized that now is not the time to be silent and for anyone else out there who's been feeling like me kind of feeling fearful and you don't really know where to begin on speaking up my advice to you is really just do your research and when you read all of these different messages it allows you to have and form an opinion of your own and I've definitely been able to do that and I'm still learning and I, and I want to support this cause I will get more into this in a little bit. I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that um, I'm, I've just been reflecting, but I am going to go on a drive now and see the state of Los Angeles because it has been a crazy, crazy past couple of days. to uh, my very first protest on Tuesday, I believe. And the reason why I went out is because I wanted my voice to be heard and I wanted to be a part of the change and the movement and what better way to do that than showing up. So it was honestly such a crazy experience, also really emotional, just feeling everyone's energy, everyone's passion and support and seeing all different types of people come together and fight for the injustice in this country. It was, uh, it was awesome and we walked all throughout downtown. I found myself at the beginning of the week struggling to find the words like everyone else, but realizing that doesn't make it okay for me to be silent and I have the responsibility on this platform to make a difference and speak up and to inspire other people to speak up and not have fear hold you back. I feel like this week has proven to so many people that your voice does matter and 
that collectively we can all make a difference because I don't think that all of those four officers would have been charged. I think, well, I know that it is because of these protests and people signing the petitions and people calling the mayors and doing everything that they can do around the world is what has caused these changes to take place and it's incredible and it's powerful. There's this quote that's floating around on Instagram saying how, what if 2020 isn't canceled and what if everything was meant to happen this year the way that it has? It's really easy to go down the hole and list out reasons why it's been such a shitty year, but if you really think about it, all the events that have taken place shown a side of people and their true colors and it needed to be exposed and it needed to have a light shined on and it needed to be fixed and i'm not saying that everything is all good it's going to take so much more time but i really want to try my best to speak up on my platforms and, and be able to share my thoughts with you guys i'll recommend some links down below if you guys want to donate to support the black community woman is also going to be donating a 100% of our proceeds to NAACP, Color of Change, and ACLU. Uh, we're going to be donating 100% of our proceeds to those nonprofit organizations. They help fight racial injustice in our country, and we're really happy to help support their mission. We've got a long way to go, but this is definitely a start. I'm making a smoothie. I'm going to start with some organic sliced peaches. kale, a scoop of plant protein, and some orange juice. Mmm, that's really good. you go.